What is going on guys? My name is Ethan Brooks Fish and I'm a video on my channel. So firstly, I just want to say sorry. My face looks like a tomato right now. Um, I have my old lamp sitting right here in front of my face and it's actually pretty far back and it still makes my face super, super red, but it's better than the background light with the darkness and you can't see my face. And two, I'm going to be talking for just a few minutes. So if you want to go ahead and get into the tournament video where it starts off with me probably at Jacob's house, I will leave a timestamp or like a time placement right there somewhere. I don't know. But you can go to that time right there. And that's when the video will start. But for just a few minutes, I'm going to talk about a few things. Excuse me. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is why I have not been uploading much. And there's a really easy answer to that. I haven't been able to get really good footage. And the times that I do get really good footage... I can't make a good video out of it. Me and Jacob, as y'all know, excuse me, that is my boat partner. That's who I fish with in high school tournaments. We fished a few tournaments in the past couple weeks. And we, he actually caught like three keepers. He caught all of our keepers in one day on a lake called Parksville Lake in Tennessee. But when I, look at, when I look back at the footage, a bunch of that stuff I didn't have on film. And I didn't want to make a four-minute video about one fish catch and a bunch of boat rides and a bunch of time lapses and stuff. Cause that's what y'all don't want to see. Y'all want the point of y'all clicking on these videos to see us or me or whoever catching fish. And that's the point of having a fishing channel and not a time lapse channel, if y'all get what I'm saying. So, with that being said, I am really sorry that I've not been able to upload much. But hopefully, in the next couple weeks, the water's getting back to normal on the Tennessee River. So, the fishing should get a little bit better. I have really good hopes for this tournament video that you're about to see today. I'm two days from it, and that's where I'm actually recording right now. is on a Thursday before the Saturday tournament. I have no idea how it's going to go down. I hope the good Lord blesses us with a really good bag of fish. We're 25th in the region right now. So it's just it's getting to that point where I really hope we can do really good. But I'm not talking about that. The next thing is a really, really exciting, exciting thing that I'm going to be talking about today. And that is, I'm actually part of uh, my, my first pro staff by the name of Wu Tungsten. Y'all probably heard of them who knows how many times on YouTube. I actually just emailed them. I, f I filled out a pro staff application and I actually got accepted. So below that you'll see, there's a discount code. And if you use that on your first order on Wu Tungsten, you get 10% off your order. If you want to go get some awesome, incredible, high quality Tungsten, go down to that link below. I will link them honestly in the description. Go there get you some tungsten and try it out. It's honestly some of my favorite weights. I have used them before. Let me just say they are some pretty high quality. And also they never chip. That is our slogan. And I can say from it, they never have. I've used it four or five times, never had a problem with it. So guys, once again, use that code down in the description and y'all can go get some awesome, incredible, high quality tungsten. Now, with that out of the way, the last thing I'm gonna talk about before we go into today's video. So if you're still here listening to me talk for the last three minutes, Congratulations, you've been listening to me ramble on for about three minutes. But the last thing I'm going to say is today's video is actually probably the first video of tournament season. No matter if we catch fish or not, I probably will upload this video. I'm not sure. Hopefully we can get five fish. That's the plan. But we're going to be fishing on Watts Bar Reservoir on the Tennessee River. The fishing's heating up right now. I've seen a lot of really good pictures and videos of people catching fish on this lake. We have a game plan. Throwing mostly crawl imitation baits. Right here I have... Oh, don't want to hit that. This is the Guggen Bates Bandito Bug and Bama Bug. And I'm choosing that color because of the crawfish pattern going on. Also, we got some crankbaits down here, some DT6s. And just overall, those are some of the main baits that I'm going to be throwing for the next couple of days. But guys, without further ado, sorry for rambling for so long. If, you're, if you stayed to this part of the video, I really, really do appreciate it. But with that being said, let's get right into first tournament season vlog.
So get him, guys. Come on up, guys. Come on up. Close the gap. Close it out. Doing it at 3 o'clock. Thank you. All right, guys, we're on the first fish already. Yes, dude. Oh, my gosh. I don't think he's going to He's barely hooked. He's barely freaking hooked. Jake. That's why I said you couldn't horse him. All right, guys, holy crap. First fish, baby. Um, yeah, they're both full. But I'll add just a little bit more to that. Just to give them some, some breathing. Smack that round trap, dude. Well guys, fish number two for the day. I snagged a blue eel. Oh. Right now, still one fish. It's been a very slow day. Caught that fish right off the bat, but still can't find them. We got about an hour left, so hopefully we can find a fish or two. Get back to y'all for getting. So guys, just real quick, one thing, 
We ended up winning three pounds and 49 ounces into his tournament that y'all saw today. Coming in at 20th place and also moving up to 22nd in the region. So hopefully by next weekend, which is on Gunnersville, we actually have the Southern Open Tournament. It's a pretty big tournament for me, my, me and my partner. And that can be our ticket to nationals. So hopefully that tournament will go pretty swell. Honestly, I really hope it does. Gunnersville is known for a ton of big fish. So there's going to be big bags caught. So hopefully we can get a good bag on that flake. But guys, that's all I have for y'all today. Thank y'all so much for tuning in today's video. Top lines, and thanks for watching.